Yahoo CFO Susan Decker joins us after the break to talk about the online search engine's future. Yahoo raising revenue guidance for the rest of the year. That's after posting quarterly results that topped Wall Street forecasts. In the latest quarter, the company earned eight cents a share, two cents ahead of expectations, six cents above the year-ago period. On the top line, revenue surging 47 percent. Most of those gains coming from Yahoo's marketing services division, which include the company's core advertising, paid search, and shopping businesses. Joining us now from Sunnyvale, California, is Yahoo's chief financial officer, Susan Decker. Susan, it's good to see you back on Market Call. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I guess the talk this morning is really about that revenue growth. You know, we kept hearing how bad things were out there and the advertising business was in a slump. What were you guys doing right? You know, we are very pleased with the quarter, and the ad revenue growth is, uh, is, is good validation of that. The ad revenues were up 38%. Uh, we really view this as just one more uh, benchmark in terms of uh, a validation of the plan that we set out over a year ago in terms of transforming the business model. So we have a very diverse set of marketing services now, uh, and we also have uh, incremental revenue coming from fees and listings. Do you expect to be able to continue this wonderful trend? You know, we put out a, a business outlook yesterday that was revised. We were really pleased to be able to ride, r increase our business outlook in spite of some of the external uncertainties. Uh, we're off to a great start, and we feel good about the numbers we've just put out. Uh, we, at the same time, we re remain cognizant of uh, some of the political events and uh, are trying to plan our expenses prudently uh, in the event that that would have any effect. How do you go about doing that? If there was an issue before with the war in Iraq, we also have the situation now with SARS that potentially could impact some technology companies in Asia. How do you try to handicap the business with those issues? We just focus on the things that we can control, and what we can control is our, our, our expenses and how we're developing products and, how we're, and the kinds of things that we're doing for our users and consumers. So we are putting all of our emphasis in the key areas that we've identified as important to fulfilling our plans and uh, making sure that we don't get ahead of ourselves in terms of how quickly we grow our expense base. What was the increase in visitors this year? The increase in visitors was uh, very strong in, in users in the quarter. We were up 14 percent. And remember, that's the, that's the total amount that come to see us every month, uh, well north of 200 million now globally. Um, the most important number that we focus on is our active registered users, those that actually provide uh, information to us to help us uh, uh, give them more relevant content and that come back more frequently and that was actually uh, 112 million so uh, that was actually up 30 percent twice the growth rate of the overall user base we've talked in the past about the various expansion of services you guys have done where's the focus now going forward you know, we're, we're, our focus is really an extension of, of what we've been doing. It's, it's all about creating great products and services for our user base, some of them free, some of them paid. Um, we've identified search as a major priority, a lot of the communications uh, products, a lot of the things that really take advantage of what the Internet does best. So uh, our, our priority is all around consumer experience and innovation. Any chance for an, any acquisitions? Sure. An we, we, uh, important part of building our business is, uh, is to add capabilities where we don't have them. We look at a build or buy or partner strategy with everything we do, and acquisitions certainly would, would uh, be something we'd be open to. We recently uh, raised some money uh, in order to have a more flexible and, uh, and strong balance sheet in the event that something comes up, but um, I think you'll see us staying on plan with the kinds of things we've done in the past. Susan, last time I talked to you, I asked you what you worried about, and you said everything. You sound like you're worried about nothing right now. No, we continue to be completely paranoid about everything out there. We, See, there you go again. <laughs> we, we feel good about what we've done, but as we look forward, it's, it's, uh, it's all about making sure that we, uh, we, we, we execute on our plans. They're very ambitious ones, and uh, there's a lot of work to do. So, uh, so a after this, we're going right back to work. Susan Decker of Yahoo, we'll talk to you again. Congratulations. Good to see you. Thanks. Thank you. Great to see you.